These are the steps to bring your video into Final Cut. The steps may seem quick, but I'll explain what's happening behind the scenes so that you can edit confidently knowing where the imported files are. If you've resized, hidden, or otherwise changed the view, use Command-0 to reset the Final Cut Pro interface to the default layout. The upper left area is the browser with the library sidebar on the left. The top item is the library, which contains events. Events store projects and media. Although libraries can contain multiple events, in this course we are working with one library with a single event. Your source media files, like video, audio, and photos, can be dragged from the finder right into Final Cut to add them to an event. Simply drag and drop them into the browser. Notice that they are added to the event, which is stored in the library. For additional options during import, click the Import button in the upper left, or Command-I to open the Media Import window. On the left, select the source where your media is stored. In this example, the clips were shot with an iPhone, which is connected to this Mac using a cable. Use the middle area to browse and select the desired media to import. On the right are additional import options. As you know from earlier, media is saved to an event. Select which event to import this media into or create a new one. Cluttering a library with multiple events is something many new Final Cut editors do. I suggest sticking with a single event while you are becoming familiar with the tools. To avoid data loss, I recommend using Copy to Library. This tells Final Cut to copy the media source files to the same place on your computer that it stores the library. To find the location of a source file, right-click on a clip or the library and select Reveal in Finder. The rest of the default import settings work for this project. With the selection made, click Import to start the copy of the media. Final Cut allows editing of most files while they import in the background. Use Command-9 to show the background tasks to monitor imports, renders, and other items. Some, like rendering, have additional controls available in Preferences. You may want to adjust these as you become more familiar. As an example, if you're always changing an option during import, adjust the import preferences. You now know that importing files into Final Cut is as easy as dragging them in. The media is added to an event, and behind the scenes, Final Cut is copying those files to the library. If you forget where anything is stored, right-click on the item and choose to reveal it in the Finder. Use the Media Import window for more control and periodically check out the preferences to customize Final Cut to work for you. Do you have a favorite preference change? Let me know down in the comments.